Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video on the Team Gullit channel. And in this video, I will teach you the best attacking formation and tactics in the AFC 24. And I will show you multiple examples and patterns on how to use it. So obviously, as always, let's start with the tactics. For defense, we got it on balance. The width here is on 45, the depth is on 65. Balance, as it's just my plan A formation, and I don't want to take too many risks. If you want to take risk, you can obviously put it to pressure on heavy touch on press after possession loss. But for me, for your plan A, I would always recommend it to be on balance. Also not drop back because your players will walk back too much and it will allow your opponent to have way too much space on the pitch. And obviously that's what you want to avoid. The width is on 45 because this formation I'm going to show you is pretty narrow from itself. It doesn't need a low width um, in the tactics. And in offense, depth 65, you guys know me. I don't like the 71 depth, which gives you automatic offside traps, but I still like to play a high line. So that's why I put the depth on 65. In offense, as usual, balanced, direct passing. With here's on 50. As I mentioned before, this formation is pretty wide from itself. So it doesn't really need more width in the tactics. Players in the box is on five as well. Just balanced, don't touch it too much. And corners has free kicks, as always, on two bars. Then we jump into the instructions, and here is where it gets interesting. As you can see, it is a 4 2 1 3 formation. And on my goalkeeper, I don't put anything. My right back is on balanced and overlap. Same goes for my left back, also balanced and overlap. Now I see you guys thinking already, isn't this much risk? I have to say, it is in attack but I will show lots of examples why it's worth it. Then for my CDMs, I got stay back while attacking and cover center. On my cam, I don't put anything apart from get into the box for crosses. My left winger and right winger are both on comeback on defense, cut inside and get into the box for crosses. And last but not least, my striker of course, which has stay central and stay forward. As I mentioned before, I said, this formation is probably the best attacking formation and tactics you can have. So we will also mainly focus on the attack. First thing you need to know about this formation, both fullbacks are unbalanced, as you know. Obviously, this is a lot of risk going forward, but there is a good reason why I do that. Because in this formation, you will always get four people when you are breaking through on the wing. This is completely different than any other formation because most of the times you have a triangle with your left back, left sentiment and left winger. But in this formation, somehow your cam always comes close to the ball to like get into play and make good combinations. This also why I put my left back and right back both on balance because this formation is just undefendable when you go down the wing. The thing I always keep in mind when I'm attacking and building up in this formation, you need to go down the wing and always try to make the triangle with your CDM and then cam or left winger. Always just try to aim to go from the outside to the inside. As you can see in a lot of these examples, I just go from the outside to the inside, some extra passes, some good dribbling, and somehow there are always runs being made in this formation. I think that's also because of the two fullbacks being on balanced and my left winger and right winger being on cut inside, which makes it like the left forward strike and right forward you have in a 4-3-2-1, but then still with two fullbacks overlapping and obviously a cam makes it even better attacking than a 4-3-2-1. Something that's really important in this formation is the timing. Obviously there are a lot of runs going forward and I'm also triggering a lot of runs. Um, something you need to do when you're watching this video, if you didn't do that for the first examples, I recommend to run it back, wind it back and focus on my attacking patterns. I score so many different types of goals in this formation and you could just practice that. You see the type of goals I score, you see the build up a bit, so just try to copy paste that and just work on that. Practice it. If you don't understand it when you watch it once, just rewind it, watch it another time. If you do that, at some point you will know these patterns, you will recognize them and you will also score these type of goals. You see a lot of different type of goals, but most of the times, as I mentioned before, from the outside to the inside, good dribbling, extra pass, extra pass, opens up and just open nets most of the time, not a difficult finish or something, just a clear chance on goal. And that's what makes this formation so good. Then something I also noticed in this formation, which is really overpowered, are the crosses. Obviously, I have Haaland at left wing. If you have the possibilities of getting Haaland, make sure to get him. But for a lot of people, he will probably be too expensive. I'm talking about Toti Haaland. Some cheaper options at the moment are Joshua Sirkse, future star, who also has the aerial plus. Courtois, which is one of my favorites. I would make sure to 
get a player like this on one of your wings. So for me, it's the left side, also because Haaland is left-footed. But for example, if you can get Sirkse, you should put him at the right side. It also doesn't matter which side, it's just what you prefer. The crosses in this formation are somehow insane. Haaland, for me, is every time in the right position to get an L1 square cross. And obviously, he's winning the header every time. So I can get a header back and just go for the extra pass. But also, the headers on goal are crazy OP. And I feel like it's better than in almost any other formation. In a 4-3-2-1, your left forward and right forward are also almost always in a good position. But in this formation, as you can see in these crosses, I score them a lot, like a lot. They are just like so clean. I don't know why. It just feels like the cross these crosses are made for this formation. So that's also a good thing to practice and another way to score in this formation. Obviously, I've showed a lot of examples now, as I mentioned. Just rewind it if you want to see them again. Try to practice all these patterns I do because I send a lot of runs. Often I attack through the outside, but obviously sometimes as well to the inside. I try to do a step over and such. I just try to mix it up and I think this formation allows to do that as well. Obviously, we also have to talk about the defense. So here's where we end the attacking side. For me, one of the best attacking formations in the game. We've had that now. As I mentioned, a lot of patterns, a lot of strengths but obviously we need to talk about the defense so for the defense it is a bit risky as you know it is really attacking with the two fullbacks unbalanced but for me if you keep structured and something that's really important to keep it structured in this formation you need to always keep control of your cdms make sure to run them back track them back when possible and then just delay your opponent. You have the two fullbacks going forward. So the thing you need to keep in mind when you're defending, you want to delay your opponent. Once you did that, it will be defending in a 4-4-1-1. Because I got my left winger and right winger on comeback. As you can see, when it is structured, they will be defending as a left mid and right mid. And then it's just solid. So the thing you need to do is delay your opponent. Once you are not able to delay your opponent, you will get into problems. As you can see in this one example, my opponent has all the space for counter-attack. He doesn't play it well this time, but if it was maybe a slightly better player or he made a better decision, it would have been a goal. So that's what you need to keep in mind in this formation. Obviously, just try to attack, score a lot of goals. But in defense, make sure to keep it as structured as possible. Don't step out because you have a lot of people going forward already. Just keep tracking back. That's what it is. We want to score goals. You need to think about outscoring your opponent. Don't think about defending too much. But obviously, sometimes you need to defend, unfortunately. And these are the tips I can give you in this formation. I hope I learned you guys a lot. Make sure to try this formation out first. In rifles or friendlies, maybe, before you use the foot champs. Me, personally, I really like it. I hope you guys do. Now we're talking about liking. Make sure to like this video. Comment if you want. If you have any questions, just let me know down below. And subscribe, obviously. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.